next point that is a conditioning of data how first of all conditioning data is much more characteristic of the data unless and until you know which data is where it is aggregated and what location it is aggregated is much more important second thing the how data is healthy is also much more important if i say the data is start from 1 2 3 it is a unique values and they have to start from 1 to 100 it is not correlated to each other then that is a raw data so we always need the relations uh, related data to that particular procedure with small instances values to matlab wo ek me ek dusre ko connect hona chahiye to wo condition of data is like preparing your hair for hair cutting this is called condition kar rahe ho usko nahi to kya hoga aayega seedha kai cheez maar dega is pe to baal kharab ho jate hain usse pehle usko soften karna padta hai operations carry out karne padte so the condition of the data is play very vital role in machine learning models so the first one is the signal source it is a, how the signal source is given that is a physical phenomena which is consist of the sine wave in this figure we can see and the second one is the sensors or transducers so the noisy electrical signals It means if if i took the accelerometer reading and it skip it doesn't require any kind of vibration when that vibration is coming to that picture and that vibration produces the noise in the accelerometer reading so this is the forced vibration no the external का उसमें से इफेक्ट आना चालू हो गया है मतलब मैं एक प्रोसेस चालू करता हूँ उसको कोई तो बाहर से भी डिस्टर्ब कर रहा है तो वो उसमें से नॉइस क्रिएट होता है तो ये वाला है नॉइस वो यानी तो फिर इसको नॉइस क्रिएट होता है ना तो उसको सिग्नल कंडीशनिंग पड़ना पड़ता है ये देख रहे हो जिस वन फिजिकल फिनमिना ए आई सब परफेक्ट शेप में है और ये नॉइज़ वाला पूरा गंदा है उसको सिग्नल कंडीशन करने के बाद उसका एक्सटर्नल फोर्सेस रिमूव करने के बाद इसमें स्टिल थोड़ा सा नॉइज़ है बट दैट इज़ ओके विथ कैन बी निगलेक्टेड एंड देन उसको जो सिग्नल आया है कंडीशन सिग्नल्स देन वी उसको उसको कन्वर्ट करना पड़ता है फ्राम एनालाइज टू डिजिटल कन्वर्टर दैट वॉट एवर वी यूज इन ए सी टू डी सी कन्वर्टर जो रहते हैं ना दैट वी यूज टू कन्वर्ट दैम सो इट इज़ प्ले वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रोल टू कन्वर्ट ऑल दिस डिजिटल सिग्नल्स using analog to digital converter so jo bhi sine wave wave hai usko apun digital converter se convert karte ho later on wo jo bhi data hai digitalize and sample data usko process karna padta hai raw binary information mein so the drive with the help of the softwares we convert this digitalized sample data into binary information so that it can be feed to the computer or application software so the process data aap yahan pe dekh rahe ho uska yahan pe hai mention application software mein now filtering decomposition denoising amplification attenuations excitation linearization isolation search protection adc dac all these parameters we are use to conditioning of the data how we views no the conditioning of the conditioning of the data needs a wavelets and falls of fft so, real world data or signals frequency exhibit slowly changing trends of the oscillation punctuated with transients these abrupt changes are often the most interesting part of the data both perpetually in terms of the information that provided the fourier transform is a powerful tool for a data analysis however it does not represent abrupt changes efficiently because fourier transform represents data as some of the sine waves which are not localized in time or space sinusoids extends to infinity therefore to accurately analyze signals that have abrupt changes we wavelet as they are well localized in time and frequency as a wavelet is a rapidly decaying wave like oscillation that has zero means a wavelet exists for a fine durations a wavelets are classified in different size and shapes 
Scaling refers to the process of stretching and shrinking the signal in time, which can be expressed using these equations. Now, the conditioning of the data as wavelets and scalings can be given here. S is the scaling factor, which is a positive value and corresponds to how much a signal is scaled in time. Using this formula, we can find out the scaling factor. And the wavelet, wavelet scale is 2, 4, 8, 16 can be equivalent frequency can be current with the equivalent frequency that is frequency divided by 2, frequency divided by 4, frequency divided by 8, frequency divided by 16. So scaling in 10 Hz since wave by 2 so the 10 Hz sine wave can be seen here and the later on 5 Hz sine wave can be seen here so actually the negative cycle has been cut cutting through and it is digitalized so the larger scale factor with low frequency can give this kind of wave and small spectra with high frequency this kind of sine wave can be shown here so the condition of data is means to prepare the data from raw format to usable format this is how it is works so a large scale factor stretch wavelet lower frequency a small shrunk wavelet high frequency a key application of the continuous wavelet analysis are time frequency analysis and filtering of time localized frequency components key application for discrete wavelets analysis are denoising and compression of signals DWT is ideal for denoising and it as it is represent many natural occurring signals and fewer coefficient. The output of the transforms yield the same number of coefficient as the length in the input signal therefore the requires less memory. The basic idea behind wavelet denoising and wavelet thresholding is that the wavelet transform leads to sparse representation for many real world signals. The wavelet coefficient which are small in value typical noise and can be shrink those coefficient or remove them without affecting the signal quality so this is generally sine wave or the wavelength can be compromised or can be idealized sine wave or we can took them as a average wavelet